you guys on the road. It's always a surprise. It's such a great adventure. So it's more or less like this. It's already time to say goodbye to the spectacular Humoremi and to keep heading north. The next stop has got nothing special, but it's going to be essential. Now, let's drive to Francistown. I'm cooking on the road. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I decided to stop for lunch. So for lunch today, we have some cheese, some avocado, a great cook, and Ah oh merde, I think I forgot something. Ah oui! Some sweet chili sauce. And some bread. Because you know. Many of you are asking how I feel being alone now on the road in Botswana, blah blah blah. Uh, I feel good. Um, the only thing is um, I need to learn cook, how to cook and stuff. And this is going to take some time. Et puis attends. kilometers away and three hours later I reach Francistown. Francistown is the second largest city in Botswana, very close to the Zimbabwean border. It's one of the oldest towns in the country and site of Southern Africa's first gold rush. The people who predominate in this area are the Bakalanga and the main language is Kalanga, but other languages are used like Ndebele, Shona, Tswana or English. And these people have established here for over a thousand years. Back in my room. Yeah, finally. And as you can hear the music behind, uh, some people are having fun. And uh, I'm having fun. Inside my bedroom. I think it's raining outside. I can't see anything. But I can hear the sound of the rain. Africa is not only good weather see this is also africa <laughs> first time i'm using this one i decided to stop in francistown for two reasons 
The first one, I don't want to drive more than three hours per day. This is still the beginning of the solo expedition and I need to take it easy. And also, I'm not in the rush. The second reason is I need to do a few things on Rafiki. It's been already a month and a half that my Hilux has arrived in Africa. I've been driving on sand, in the mud, on salt pans, gravels and else. I don't want to use much water for a car and I don't plan to wash the car body very often to be honest. Yeah, ah, what's up? Yeah, I need to clean the car. It's big work. <laughs> Indeed, I need to rinse the chassis from time to time because I need to prevent my car from corrosion. This camping, which is not really a camping actually, authorized me to clean the chassis on their premises. I was the only one again, so I could take my time to do a few more other things. So Rafiki is going to be even more ready for what is going to follow. <laughs> so why some are having fun in the trees other people like me they prepare uh, some lunch and this is what my host family made for me the whole pack of uh, can of naan <gasps> yeah 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 i'm in a camping like today I plug my extension cable and I unplug the fridge from the aux battery. See, I unplug the fridge from the aux battery. I just plug like normal plug. And everything is here underneath the car. The mosquito net, I'm going to... Um, add this one inside the rooftop tent because there is already like a net on each window but like we we never too sure like we never know it's better to add this one so now let's find a solution i need to uh, attach this um, mosquito net with some stuff i found in the car to the rooftop tent inside let's see so it's more or less like this it's an additional security because here in the rooftop tent on each side you've got those holes here and yeah I, I prefer like being more you know it's uh, safer for me so there you go I'm practicing my new style uh, it remind me Turkey so much <laughs> I'm cold anyway so yeah it's going to be a big day tomorrow a big day of driving and um, hopefully I, hopefully I can make it to where I want to go so yeah it's going to take a whole day of uh, driving and I can't wait to be where I'm going to be <laughs> now in the rooftop tent I'm reorganizing a few things um, actually this is my exercise mat and I just want to sleep with it now just to give it a try because every morning when I wake up I've got a back pain so let's try new day today just woke up in my castle and it's going to be um, a long day of oh a long day I don't know I don't know yet. I'm leaving the campsite now uh, after four nights and I could do everything I needed to do. Um, so I'm ready to go to another destination. Rafiki has a new friend. <laughs> it's really nice to get to uh, meet you guys on the road. It's always a surprise because I never obviously expect people to recognize Rafiki or, or me. And uh, actually, they recognize Rafiki me <laughs> after. But anyway, I really appreciate it. Like, 
I don't know, like it's um, I'm so happy you enjoy my travels as much as I do because I do enjoy very much my travels, hopefully, otherwise I wouldn't be here. And oh my god, the puzzle! And um, it's such a great adventure because uh, meeting you as well, it's I didn't expect that, and it's um, I really enjoy it. And also, forgot to mention that. I'm not traveling alone anymore. Hey, yeah, the news in the Dinsidan.